now we got y plus 2x is equal to 2, y plus 2x is equal to 2, that's your question, and your next equation is y squared plus 2x squared, y squared plus 2x squared is equal to 3yx, also worth 7 to 8 marks, solve for x and y, okay, now first question that we ask ourselves, where do we begin? Now you tell me, now you tell me, in which equation will I, we've got equation number one, we've got equation number two. What did I tell you earlier? We start with the equation where the power is one. So obviously we're going to start in equation number one. What are we going to put it in terms of y or x? Y, because the coefficient of y is one. So let's start with equation number one. We're going to say y is equal to two minus two x. If you want to, like I said, call it equation number three. Now we say substitute, substitute, 2 minus 2x for every y, for y in equation number 2. Right, so for every y, I'm going to put 2 minus 2x. So what, what, what do I have? I got 2 minus 2x squared plus 2x squared is equal to 3x and y is 2 minus 2x. Now you might say, but this is yx, and here you got xy. We all know xy, yx, it's the same thing. Doesn't matter which one you put first. But we want to keep the term outside because we want to multiply it back into the brackets here. So now remove the brackets. 2 squared, 4. Minus 4x times 2 minus 8x plus 4x squared plus 2x squared is equal to 3x times 2. Remember, we're distributing 3x times 2, 6x minus 3 times 2, 6x squared. Bring everything on the same side, what do I have? 4 minus 8x plus 4x squared plus 2x squared minus 6x plus 6x squared is equal to 0. We're now going to collect our like terms and we are going to pray that we get a perfect trinomial. Because what did I say? Once you get a perfect trinomial, you know you're right. So let's go. Let's collect our like terms. 4x squared plus 2x squared, 6x squared, 6x squared plus 6x squared. 12x squared. I've got minus 8x here. I've got minus 6x here. I get minus 14x. So I'm done with my x squareds. I'm done with my x's and I'm only left with 4. Plus 4 is equal to 0. Let's divide everything by 2. So we got 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. We don't know yet whether this is perfect. So we're going to use our method from right in the beginning. Remember Mr. Snodkop? That's the one. Let's now use Mr. Snodkop in order to get our factors. So, we are now going to use the factors of 6, the factors of 2, that when cross multiplied will give me negative 7. What are your factors of 6? Random factors, 3 and 2. Your factors of 2, 2 and 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4. Can a 3 and a 4 give you a negative 7? Yes, it can. Negative 3, negative 4, when added will give me minus 7. Negative times negative is a positive. What's my last sign? Positive. Do I think I'm right? No, I know I'm right. So, let's put that down. That's my first bracket, that's my second bracket. 3, 2, 2, 1. Let's put our brackets down here. 3, 2, 2, 1, x and x. Again, in this case here, we're fortunate both of them are negative. So 2 times 2x is 4x, I need minus 4x, I put a minus, 1 times 3x is 3x, I need a negative 3, so I'll put a minus again. So we've got our two solutions, 3x minus 2 is equal to 0, or 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, 3x is equal to 2, x is equal to divide by 3, divide by 3, 2 over 3, or 2x is equal to 1, divide by 2, divide by 2, x is equal to a half. Is that my final answer? No, that's not my final answer. We now need to go and solve for y. We've solved for x, we now need to solve for y. So let's go here on the side. Let's go on the side and we're now going to say substitute 2 over 3 for x in equation number 3 or substitute a half for x in equation number 3. So we're substituting 2 over 3 for x in equation number 3 in order to solve for y. Let's see whether your solutions are correct. So what do we have? Equation number 3, what did it look like? Equation number 3, equation number 3 was y is equal to 2 minus 2x. So here goes, y is equal to 2 minus 2x, y is equal to 2 minus 2 into, what is x? 2 over 3. 
So we've got y is equal to 2 minus 4 over 3. y is equal to, your common denominator here is 3. 1 into 3, 3 times, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 3 into 3 once, 1 times 4 is 4, 6 minus 4, 2 over 3. That's your first solution. Or, or, your second solution, substitute half for x in equation number 3. So you've got y is equal to 2 minus 2x, y is equal to 2 minus 2 into a half, y is equal to 2 minus 2 times a half is 1, y is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. So there we go boys and girls, you've got your two y solutions, you've got your two x solutions. And this now wraps up our, our topic on simultaneous equations. We've done two examples, one easy one, one complex uh, exam type question. Boys and girls, please make sure you start practicing. Mm -hmm.